so hello everyone welcome to this new session so in the last uh, last session we have started with the third module right and we have discussed few of the concepts of time response okay uh, typical reference signals that is step ramp and parabolic so we had uh, obtained uh, different expressions for that and also with the taking the reference inputs for all the three signals we have obtained the steady state error expressions and also through those steady state error expressions we have uh, uh, come with the parameters of kp kv and ka kp is the positional error coefficient kv is the velocity error coefficient and ka is the acceleration error coefficient okay those who have not referred the previous video you can refer it down okay it would be available in the playlist or it would be available in our recent channel also you can visit our channel and uh, see those videos so we will continue with the concept that is effect of change in g of s into h of s that g of s into h of s is the open loop transfer function okay in short we can say it is o l t f okay so yeah So now let's get to the concept of uh, this effect of change in G of S into H of S. That is, uh, the, in generally, this G of S into H of S is represented as this this form. Okay, that is K, where K is some uh, resultant between gain and J or a type of system. So this K is we can say that it's uh, basically a constant only. Okay, so this is the in general this G of S into H of S is represented like this. That is one plus T one S into one plus T two S. Uh, it goes on up to 1 plus T n s divided by s to the power j into 1 plus T a s into 1 plus T b s and it goes on like that. Okay. Yeah. So in this way, the in general, the g of s into h of s is represented. Okay. Where k is the resultant between gain and j and where this j is called as the type of system. This type of system is very important. Okay. So now what is this type of system? Let's see. Basically, the, there are three main types of open loop transfer function systems. Okay, they are type zero, type one, and type two. Okay, what are these type zero, type one, type two system? We'll get to that in brief later. So now let's see in this formula. This j is there, right? If we substitute the values of j as zero, one, two, we would be getting our uh, uh, systems that is type zero, type one, and type. Okay, whenever j is equal to zero, it is the the system is of type zero. Okay, uh, whenever j is equal to one, the system is of type one, and whenever j is equal to two, in generally, in the system is of type two. Okay, so this way, this uh, generally the expression is given for a open loop transfer function g of s into h of s. Okay, so now let's get in brief to the concepts of type zero, type one, and type two systems. That is analysis of type zero, one, and two systems. Okay, so let's consider our first case that is. Input selected is step of magnitude a. Again, we are selecting the first input as our step input. Okay. In this first case also, we are considering three different systems. That is type zero, type one, and type two. So now first, let's consider type zero system. Okay. We know that whenever this the system is of type zero, here in order in in place of j, we will be putting it as zero. I have told you right. Whenever j is equal to zero, the system is type zero. So in this expression. The only change here is for this s power. It becomes s power zero for step input. Also, we have uh, uh, seen the expression for kp. Okay, so write that expression. Kp is equal to limit s tending to zero g of s into h of s. Okay, yeah. So now here g of s into h of s here expression we have it here, and also s power zero is equal to one. Okay, so this term also vanishes. So now when we substitute the limits, that is s tending to zero, what you would be getting? 1 plus t1 into 0 so this whole term would be 0 so again t2 into 0 this whole term would be 0 and here this also would be 0 this also would be 0 that is 1 plus 0 and into 1 plus 0 that is 1 plus 0 is 1 so we are getting k into 1 into 1 divided by so s to the power 0 is also 1 so again 1 plus 0 is 1 into 1 so that is k by 1 that is equal to k right when we substitute that, uh, when you put the limit of s tending to zero, so our value of kp, which we are getting, is, is equal to k. That's all. I've, uh, that's all I've written here. See, yeah. So this k here is the constant value. Therefore, our steady state error ESS is given as for k. In case of kp, that is a divided by one plus kp, right? Yeah. So now in place of kp, substitute it as k. So our final steady state error for a type zero system, which we are getting, is a divided by one plus k. Okay. 
similarly do the analysis for a type 1 system also in the same way okay yeah type 1 system and the input is a step uh, this is the general expression where this uh, uh, j when we are putting the value of j is equal to 1 here okay for step input again this is the formula and here we are getting our kp is equal to infinity okay so let's see how we are getting it as infinity again put the limit as tending to 0 so again this whole expression would be k divided by 1 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 that is k only divided by h, h to the power 1 okay it is s only so in place of s now it will, we need to put it as 0 okay whenever this is 0 this whole term would be 0 so that's why we are getting the expression k divided by 0 we know that anything divided by 0 is equal to infinity right so that's why we are getting our kp here as infinity so our steady state error is a divided by 1 plus kp in place of kp substitute it as infinity that is 1 plus infinity it is infinity again so our final expression is a by infinity again we know that anything divided by infinity is equal to 0 so our uh, in case of type 1 system our steady state error for step input is 0 okay similarly let's analyze for type 2 system also when uh, the input applied is step so again g of s into h of s expression in place of uh, j substitute it as 2 put j is equal to 2 so this would be s square so for step input this is the steady state error again we are getting it as infinity since again this whole term uh, this is equal to when we put the limit as tending to 0 this is k divided by in place of s square uh, again 0 so this would be 0 so anything divided by 0 is again infinity so we are getting infinity again again our steady state error we are getting it as a by infinity that is equal to 0 so therefore we can say that for any type of system more than type 0 the infinite error is 0 okay so this is in case of step input okay for any type of system when the input applied is step more than type 0 the infinite error is 0 so leaving type 0 other two systems that is type 1 and type 2 our steady state error uh, we are not getting any steady state error okay yeah so this is all about when the input applied is step so similarly let's uh, see the second case that is when the, whenever the input selected is ramp of magnitude a again the same thing assume type 0 type 1 type 2 write the expression for g of s into h of s where this is s to the power 0 so since s to the power 0 is 1 so i have not inc included that yeah so again now the input select is ramp right so now we need to be taking kv that is velocity error coefficient in case of ramp okay again for velocity error coefficient we have the expression with limit s tending to 0 s into g of s into h of s right yeah so now here we are getting kv is equal to 0 how whenever we limit uh, so, substitute the limit that is as tending to 0 what we are getting k into 1 plus 0 into 1 plus 0 that is k divided by uh, 1 plus 0 k into we have one more term s right since uh, here we are saying that uh, limit as tending to 0 s into g of s into h of s this would be s k right so k into s divided by 1 plus 0 that divided by 1 okay again here uh, s is there so we need to so, uh, substituting that also equal to 0 and also we are we in the numerator place we are getting 0 so 0 divided by 1 is again 0 right so if, uh, finally we are getting our kv value as 0 that's why i have written it here it as 0 so now again the steady state error expression when in case of ramp input that is a by kv and kv we are getting it as 0 so a divided by 0 so anything divided by 0 is again infinity so in this case when we uh, take consider take in consider the type 0 system whenever the input applied is ram our steady state error we are getting it as infinity okay so similarly for type 1 what we are getting uh, same uh, same thing take the expression g of s into h of s where uh, uh, substitute the value of uh, s to the power 1 here since it is type 1 again uh, write the value of uh, kv that is limit s tending to 0 s into g of s into h of s so now this would be s into k divided by s to the power 1 is again s into 1 right so again this s and s would be getting cancelled okay yeah so that's why our expression so uh, don't uh, directly put s uh, tending to 0 okay we can cancel it as out so this is k by 1 is equal to k right yeah so so whenever we apply the limits before applying the limits only we can say that we have sk divided by s so first we can cancel this s out after that when we uh, apply the limit what we would be getting this expression we would be getting that is equal to k so now again the steady state error 
ESS is equal to AF divided by KV. So in place of KV, we are to substitute the value of K. So our steady state error in case of type 1 system for ramp input is A by K. Okay. Similarly, let's see the type 2 system. Okay. Again, same thing, uh, put the expression of G of S into H of S, S square for ramp input, the value of KV is equal to infinity here. So again, S into G of S, so this would be S. We have here S and S and S square, so one S would be getting cancelled. And after that, again, one S would be remaining here, so we would be getting K divided by zero again after applying the limit, so this would be infinity. So in place of KV, substitute infinity and we are steady state error. For type 2 system, we are getting it as zero, right? So similarly, input selected is parabola of magnitude A. This is the third case where we are selecting the input as parabola. Again, assume type 0 system. Write the expression for type 0 system here. Again, this is s to the power 0. So this would be 1. So I have not written it. For parabolic input now, we need to be considering the value of Ka. That is acceleration error coefficient. Limit s tending to 0. S square into g of s into h of s this type. Okay. So now this is also again 0. Right. So here what we have S square in the numerator we have. So limit S tending, S tending to 0. So the whole numerator part would be 0 divided by anything which we are getting. Again, it is equal to 0 only. So that's why the Ka value we are getting it as 0. So the st steady state error is equal to A divided by Ka. So in, in place of Ka, substitute the value of 0. So anything divided by 0 is again infinity. So that's why for type 0 when the input selected is parabola, our uh, steady state error which we are getting is infinity okay so same goes with type 1 the same expression here in place of uh, j substitute as 1 s to the power 1 so this would be s to the power 1 so the same expression for parabolic input k a is equal to limit s times 0 s square into g of s into h of s so we need to be uh, adding one s square here so we can cancel this s to the power 1 and 1 s s to the power 1 here so our remaining expression is we are again uh, remaining with one s here so after uh, substituting the limit that is this whole numerator term would be equal to zero and uh, anything divided by zero divided by anything is again it is equal to zero so our k a we are getting it as zero again in place of uh, the k a substitute zero again we are getting steady state error in case of type one for parabolic input as infinity okay so same goes with the final uh, thing that is type two g of s into h of s uh, so write the expression in place of j substitute it as 2 this is a square again for parabolic input k is equal to limit s tending to, s tending to 0 s square into g of s into h of s so here we would be multiplying s square so we can cancel this both out okay so our remaining term is here so again when uh, limit uh, after substituting s tending to 0 this would be again k divided by 1 so that is equal to k so here we are getting k so finally in place of ka substitute the value of k so in case of type 2 we are getting our steady state error as a by k yeah so these were the three cases here when whenever the input selected is of step ramp and parabola the different expressions for steady state error we are getting in case of type 0 type 1 and type 2 systems okay you need to be knowing this please note it down okay and after that again i have created one table here yeah, we, in order in case you won't forget so that's why see i have made a column of type of system error coefficient and steady state errors error coefficients we have three error coefficients that is kp kb ka and steady state errors we have three input signals that is step ramp and parabola so for type 0 system our kp we are getting as, is equal to k kb we are getting equal to 0 ka we are getting equal to 0 the step input when in case of step input our steady state error is a divided by 1 by k for ramp input when in case of type 0 system it is infinity for parabolic input infinity so in similarly i have made it for type 1 system and type 2 system okay you can take this table okay so yeah that's all for this session so in the next session we are going to solve a few problems so that would be very important so hope you have understood this uh, concepts very clearly and in the next session we are going to solve two problems please like share subscribe and comment down your opinions since the exams are coming near okay so that's why we would be uploading uh, videos regularly from now so be updated to the channel and uh, again uh, update your friends as well that this channel is being uh, uh, updating videos so that's why please don't miss the videos please uh, contact your friends and tell it and please comment down your opinions okay so that's all please like share subscribe and uh, refer our playlist for more such videos you can refer our playlists of this control system 
also electromagnetic theory and also some other subjects which we are going to cover in a few days so that's all thank you please like share subscribe guys